The NFL Honors Awards were last night, and as a result of it, people have been, well, overanalyzing every single thing that Aaron Rodgers has said. But fortunately for us, the man did provide an update on his future, and he did say some things that kind of made me raise my eyebrows as well. So before we get to the content, we are giving away $500 to a subscriber that turns on our notifications on this channel. We're also giving away $500 to a follower of ours on Instagram. Now that we got all that out of the way, break! The Super Bowl is around the corner and I'm in the mood to try to make some money, but I don't want to really break my bank doing it. So what better way to make some money than using my promo code microphone, claiming the free $5 credit from using my promo code and then entering in a $4 contest to potentially win $1,440 in potential prizes. So we're entering this multi-sport Super Bowl five-time pick'em. Between the LA Rams and the Cincinnati Bengals, I get the most points at the Cincinnati Bengals win and they are the underdog so I do think they could pull it off I can't see Jamar Chase and Joe Burrow losing but I would be happy as a Rams fan if the Rams pulled it off we got the Red Wings versus the Minnesota Wild I'm gonna go with the Red Wings Toronto versus Seattle let's go with Seattle Chicago versus Winnipeg let's go with Chicago San Jose versus Edmonton I'm gonna go San Jose the Pistons versus the Wizards the Wizards stink recently so I'm gonna go with the Pistons the Kings versus the Nets the Nets stink recently I'm gonna go with the Kings we got the Thunder versus Versus the Knicks. The Knicks actually really stink recently, so I'll go with the Thunder. We got the Portland Trailblazers versus the Milwaukee Bucks. No way Milwaukee loses that. Toronto versus New Orleans. I think I think New Orleans could pull it off. They just got CJ McCollum. We got San Antonio versus Chicago. Let's go with Chicago. Denver versus Orlando. Let's go with Denver. Houston versus Utah. LA versus Golden State. So these are my picks, man. Now make sure you use my promo code microphone because you can enter this contest for free and make your yourself some money by doing so or you can just click my link in the description down below and thank you bounty sports for the sponsorship. Mike check one, two, one, two. What's going on, everybody? Last night, Aaron Rodgers won his second consecutive MVP. He now only trails Peyton Manning by one MVP for the most MVPs of all time. Interestingly enough, Peyton Manning also had four MVP awards before he decided to go to Denver, which is ironic because I have been predicting Aaron Rodgers to Denver probably for the past year at this point. And when the Denver Broncos hired their new head coach, Coach Nathaniel Hackett, I thought even more so, but I don't like just giving you my take on a situation without providing you guys facts. So let's get to the actual factual stuff that happened last night. Starting with Aaron Rodgers accepting his fourth MVP award and saying this. First, I gotta, I gotta say it's an honor to share the stage with Peyton Manning, a man who's won this award five times. You inspired a generation of quarterbacks, myself included, buddy, and proud to share the stage with you tonight. Thank you. I'd like to thank the Green Bay Packers, Mark, Brian, Russ, our incredible fan base. It's been uh, an amazing 17 years. So thankful for the memories and the moments over the years. Uh, I'd like to thank Matt LaFleur and his perfectly groomed eyebrows. Where are you at, Matt? There you are. Bree, thank you. Great job tonight on those. But in all seriousness, two out of three years winning this thing, you're a huge part of this. I love you. I appreciate you. Thanks for trusting me, boarding me, empowering me and making things easy for me. Appreciate you, buddy. Aaron Rodgers did something that may have troubled some Denver Broncos fans. Yes, I'm looking at you, Brandon Perna, because he thanked the Green Bay Packers front office and said, Mark Brian Russ, and also thanked Matt LaFleur and his perfect eyebrows. He said, I appreciate you, buddy. This sounds like a man that is happy with his current situation. Now, it's really funny because my entire Twitter timeline was absolutely terrified at this point. They're like, oh my God, Aaron Rodgers is staying once again. And to be honest, as you look more into what he says during his presser, he continues to say that I have not made any decision again. I've been easing into the off season and excited about being here tonight. It feels like a dream, surreal for sure, to be sitting here as a four-time MVP. Now, I'll tell you where I am a little skeptical, okay? Because we had Tom Brady tell us that he hadn't made a decision two weeks ago when his retirement was leaked out prematurely. And ultimately he did 
make a decision, but Adam Schefter added that decision a little bit too soon. And then he said, no, Adam's right. Two days later, officially retired himself. I do think that Aaron Rodgers has made his decision because we made videos in the past where Aaron Rodgers said that he was planning on leaving the Green Bay Packers fairly soon. There was this report that he was trying to recruit people and build a super team in Green Bay. There's been other rumblings stating that he would want Marquez Valdez Scantling and Devontae Adams to join him wherever he goes. And I think the biggest indicator that he is probably not going to be a Green Bay Packer anymore, at least, and I could be wrong, this is just my take on the matter, is the fact that they have no cap space to improve. I think they've plateaued in terms of where they could go as a franchise. And I know this is going to bother some Green Bay Packers fans, but I'm just giving you what I believe is going to happen. I'm just a dude on the internet. I could be wrong. Now, here's the thing that troubled me that is an indicator for him staying, saying, according to Ari Merov, he said, talking to the media now, Aaron Rodgers said that he has not made any decisions on his future, but he had productive conversations with the team. He once again reiterated that a decision will come sooner rather than later and says that it's bittersweet to lose Nathaniel Hackett. So here's why I think it's interesting because you could take that last bit saying it's bittersweet to lose Nathaniel Hackett in two ways. The first way you could take it is, oh wow, he's gonna come back to the Green Bay Packers and he's really upset about the fact that Nathaniel Hackett isn't going to be there. You know how much Aaron Rodgers loves Nathaniel Hackett. But uh, Hack has been uh, a really important part of our culture change and a part of uh, our success on offense. I love him. Hope he doesn't go anywhere unless I do. And Nathaniel Hackett is now the head coach of the Denver Broncos, which is why you can make an argument for Aaron Rodgers to come out and say, hey, I want to go to the Denver Broncos because Nathaniel Hackett is there. You can make an argument for either side in this scenario. And in the most Aaron Rodgers-like fashion, he completely turned the situation upside down, saying he doesn't fear retirement and that he's satisfied with his career right now. And again, here's the thing you got to know about Aaron Rodgers. He gets so much pleasure from doing this to the media. He said a couple of weeks ago that he wasn't planning on retiring, but now he's saying he doesn't fear retirement, which I guess if you want to go really freaking deep on it, he just says, I'm not afraid of retiring. Who says anything about retiring this year? Ultimately, I honestly can't stop smiling whenever I cover this situation because we could all tell that Aaron Rodgers knows that everyone is really holding their breath to see what decision he makes. If he goes to the Denver Broncos, the NFC gets significantly weaker because they just lost Tom Brady and Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers goes to the Denver Broncos and creates one of the most competitive divisions in the entire NFL. The AFC West with the Kansas City Chiefs, the Las Vegas Raiders, the Los Angeles Chargers, and the Denver Broncos. And if you look at their records this year, this year they were competitive. I mean, it's kind of ridiculous. The Denver Broncos ended on a four game losing streak. They finished with seven wins and 10 losses. The LA Chargers were a game away from making it into the playoffs and one would have to imagine that with a Sean McVay clone at their head coaching position and Justin Herbert and the defense that they have they will eventually be one of those teams that will be playoff contenders at the very minimum and then you look at the Kansas City Chiefs who have made it to the last four AFC championship games and then you add Aaron Rodgers to that conference and he'll join the Denver Broncos and that would be absolutely entertaining to watch we would get two games a year where Aaron Rodgers faces off against Patrick Mahomes we haven't even gotten a single one of those yet so far. I don't think Aaron Rodgers has much left to prove, but if he wants to go over there and just go at Patrick Mahomes, which I've read a report about a year ago where he is very interested in doing so, then I think that there's no doubt in my mind he'll join the Broncos. All the clues so far are adding up to him joining the Broncos. I mean, last year, the Denver Broncos could have selected Justin Fields with the ninth overall pick, but ultimately they decided to surprise the entire NFL draft and drafted a cornerback, Patrick Sertan. That's the type of pick you make when you're thinking, oh, we're building a team for when a specific individual is going to come by here in about a year from now. But ultimately, the only update we got from this entire situation is Aaron Rodgers is going to take his time toying with the media. I'm assuming that he is going to make his decision by the end of February, maybe early March. That way, he'll have time to recruit other players to the Denver Broncos who have a ton of cap space. And that way, the Green Bay Packers 
hackers can have a contingency plan in place. So let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about all this, man. I know it's a very tiny update, but I feel like it's my responsibility at this point to just get you anything that pertains to Aaron Rodgers on this channel. Aside from that, I'm your boy, Mike. I'm dropping our mic until our next upload.